everyone, welcome back. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some Pokeballs for our cosplay or for whatever you guys want out of some styrofoam balls. And I got these ba this bag of styrofoam balls at the dollar store. It comes with all of these, but I'm going to be using the, the two big ones. Also going to be using some red, white, purple, and black. Uh, Craftsmart acrylic gloss paint. The reason I'm using the gloss is because it it creates like a, a thicker layer of paint I guess I could say. And then I'm also going to be using some white and pink scribbles and I also need paintbrushes. So this is pretty easy to do. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to paint half of both of your styrofoam balls and you're going to paint them white. And uh, you could do one or two layers, it's up to you. I usually do one layer and then see where it, what it looks like and then I'll do the other layer later. Then with one of your styrofoam balls, you're going to go ahead and paint the other half red. Uh, again, you, you can use your own discretion and decide if you want to do one or two layers. I do two, but uh, it looks fine after you do one layer, I just do two because I like it to be thicker and not be able to see the foam underneath. And the other styrofoam ball you're gonna go ahead and paint purple. Don't worry if your line isn't completely straight going around uh, for your halfway mark because we're gonna be covering that next with the black paint. So once it dries you're gonna go ahead and take a paintbrush and create a line going the whole way around the pokeball right in between where the red and the white are, and then you can go ahead and create a big black circle. I usually put the circle wherever I see the black isn't completely straight so I can hide the fact that I hadn't made a completely straight line. Then you're going to do the same thing with the purple, create a black line going the whole way around the Pokeball and a circle. This you only need to do one layer of. And then once those are dry, you can go ahead and paint some white there. I had to do two layers because I didn't wait long enough. So as you can see, the paint is kind of mixing here. But when I did my second layer, it was completely white. Once that's dry, the regular Pokeball is finished. You're going to want to put an M with the scribbles on the Master Ball. And create two little oval shapes with the pink paint on the side. The reason I'm using scribbles is because I want it to be puffy because it, it, I think it sticks out. It's supposed to stick out and then look puffy. And that's going to take a couple hours to dry. Usually it takes mine about two, one and a half to two hours to dry. And here's what they look like when they're finished. And my next step with these is to put these on my Team Rocket Grunt belt. So stay tuned for that video where I show you how to make the belt and how to put the Pokeballs on that. And if you want to see my last video, right there on the wallet is a link to my last video. Thanks for watching.